Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Getting Snacky with Daryl. As you can see, I'm with the Colonel and we're at KFC because we're going to be trying out their new KFC sauce and their revamped line of sauces. Now I got them with the chicken tenders. Uh, so the, again, this is, but this is not about the chicken itself. We're going to be seeing how the sauces will enhance their chicken. And again, specifically their biggest thing that they brought out is the KFC sauce because it is uh, replacing their finger licking sauce. Now it's been a while since I had the finger licking sauce. So I'll be honest, I wish, and I wish they had, and I asked if they had them uh, still, uh, they did not. They already phased it out. So they are now uh, promoting the new KFC sauce, but it's supposed to be a sweet and tangy and smoky. Uh, they have been working on the, the new recipe since uh, before. Uh, the pandemic happened and there was like i think like 50 recipes that they were playing around with now they also revamped their other core sauces so like their classic ranch that's supposed to be uh, revamped as well as their honey barbecue and their honey mustard which i am actually really intrigued about because i am a honey mustard kind of guy so let's go to the main event first though it is the kfc sauce so let's pop this guy open. I do like the marketing on there. I like the image they have here of the of the kernel. And let me pop this guy open here. And again, I wish I remembered exactly what the sauce looked like before, the finger licking sauce. But this guy, you can see it, it's definitely a more orange, a deeper yellow. You can see the seasonings in there. The aroma, you definitely get the sweet. I don't get a little a little hint of smokiness, but let's just go right in with the chicken. Actually, no, we're gonna do it without the chicken first. Yep, definitely get the sweet there. Yep, there's the tang again. Once I start uh, tasting a little bit more, and I pardon the smacking, I, I really do apologize the smacking. Um, you can definitely taste the sweet, the tanginess, and uh, the hint of the aroma of smokiness and the taste of, of smokiness, but not too much. But let's see what happens when I dip the tender in there. Get a good amount going in for the new KFC sauce. Hmm. Now, once you eat it with the chicken, you kind of, you still have the sweetness, but I don't taste any of the smokiness. And the tanginess is right there, right at the end, like a little bit of an aftertaste. It reminds me of like a, a honey mustard sauce. So, not that. So I'm intrigued about the, what the actual honey mustard sauce is going to taste like. Now let's just move on. So the KFC sauce, it's a it's a different sauce per se, but it's very re uh, reminding me. It's, I guess it would be more mustard based. If I'm going to call it anything. You put this set this guy down. Let's go to the ranch. Now in the comments below, please let me know what kind of sauce you guys usually are when it comes to dipping your tenders or chicken in. Okay, the ranch. Ooh, oh. Ooh, def definitely herbaceous. Not so much of a tang, obviously very creamy. And, ooh. I guess you could, I guess it's like a buttermilk ish. So, but you definitely taste the herbs in there for the, for the ranch. All right. That's a good side. That's a good dip right there. Let's see if you guys can see. Oh, let me give you that better view. Probably there you go. You can definitely see the herbs. All right. Let's go in for the ranch. Hmm. Oh, I really like this ranch. I, maybe it's, it's probably because of the herbs, but I really like this ranch. I could probably do this in a salad. Uh, I, to be honest, when you get ranch dipping, is that different from ranch salad dressing? Are they the same thing? You let me know. You let me know. The ranch. I can, I can mess with that ranch. That definitely has some good flavor. It's not just like a generic ranch or your prototypical ranch flavor. I think that might be one of the best ranches out there. All right, cleanse the palace, move on. The honey barbecue. Uh oh, where'd it go? 
Honey barbecue. There you go, honey barbecue. Let's go in. Oh, I was ready to jump out there. Oh, I got a little taste there because I little got a little jumped out. So, oh, definitely, definitely smell some sweetness to it. The aroma isn't so much barbecue. It's definitely more on the sweet side. I did have a little taste of that. Let me do one more. Man, the barbecue. Oh, that, see, this has the smokiness. It's not overwhelming, but definitely has more smokiness than the KFC sauce. But honestly, this doesn't have as much barbecue vibe as I thought it would have. All right, let's just go right in. Hmm. Okay. Wow. You def it's definitely sweet. Definitely on the sweeter side of the honey barbecue. And then, yeah, you get the barbecue definitely at the end. But I was, I was thinking it would be more barbecue forward, but it's definitely more honey or sweet forward. Oh, I got the sun popping through right now. Pardon me. Let me adjust. Let me see if that helps. All right. There you go. All right. Honey barbecue. Honey barbecue um, is actually decent, but I was expecting more barbecue for more barbecue forward. All right. Oh, I need a napkin. All right. Let's move on to the last sauce is the honey mustard. Cleanse that palate one more time. All right. Honey mustard. Moving on. There you go. Now I'm a honey mustard, honey mustard, sweet and sour, or else a signature sauce kind of guy, depending on what location I'm at. But I'm definitely on the mustard side. Hot mustard, man. I, I know I said this in a previous video, but man, if you could bring back some hot mustard McDonald's in my area, ooh, please. All right. Okay, you can see, you know, the, the I guess that's the mustard grounds from the mustard seeds. Let me get a sauce here. Ooh, okay. Definitely, you smell the mustard. And then again, with this guy, definitely more uh, sweet or honey forward than mustard. Okay. As you blend it in with the chicken and you get a bigger bite, um, you could definitely get more of a balance of the honey and the mustard. Mm. It is okay. Not my favorite. Um, but uh, out of the three, this is probably a tie. It's probably a tie for me. With the KFC sauce and the honey mustard. But the ranch, I think the ranch really stands out out of all four of those sauces. Now, I believe they, the hot sauce is also revamped. Unfortunately, they did not give me one of those. I asked for all four, or I asked for all the sauces, but I think she was just thinking, uh, the person who took my order, just those sauces, I should have, I, maybe I should have specifically said also the hot sauce, but I don't know, let me know. If you guys already tried the hot, the sauces, and especially the hot sauce, let me know if that's also different, or ha what kind of flavor that is. Because I usually do mix uh, my hot sauce and ketchup, like when, when I go to other places like Popeye's, I will definitely take their hot sauce packets and mix that with ketchup. And that's how I eat my chicken sometimes. All right. So the the new sauces, I think this is a win for KFC. I think it's a good, a good move that you guys revamped your sauces. Now, the KFC sauce, it, it's definitely something different. It's like a signature move. Overall, it's it's not a bad sauce, uh, but it's it, I wish it just had a little bit more pronounced Flavor. Let me go one more bite. Sorry, right. I'm just thinking about this now. One more. Ah. Yeah, there's, there's just something that, that, I don't know, maybe the tang or the sweet. It's definitely different. Now, you know what? I take that back. Honey and mustard over the KFC sauce for me. But that ranch is definitely the clear-cut winner and the one that stands out above the rest all right that's it that's my review for the new kfc sauces so go ahead check it out let me know what you guys think if you've had these before 
or when you if you've had them already and maybe if you miss them miss them out and if i thought i was uh over hyping up that ranch so all right i'll see you guys in the next episode of getting snacky with daryl if you see my other uh reviews lately i've been letting you guys know that we are going to be having a another free giveaway so i'm working with a partner and we're almost tidying up those details i know i keep saying it but it's just a matter of just working out uh getting the prize in and is how we want to work it out so how we want to do the giveaway and who qualifies and things like that but we're looking it's probably either going to be coming up towards the 450 or 500 subscriber mark because we have already surpassed our 400 mark already so thank you guys so much for all the love and support all right that's enough for me for now uh please check out the videos like comment share and i'll see you guys in the next one and have a snack tastic day later